This episode is brought to you by Linksys and their new E4200 wireless router. Powerful enough to connect all of your family's wireless devices, allowing you to experience the benefits of a completely wireless home. Does anyone even remember what we did before wireless networks? It's such a convenience, it's hard to even imagine. But with kids around, there are certain precautions that parents need to take to make sure that everyone stays connected, but safe. Today in the lab, we're e-proofing our wireless networks. Do I even need to tell you to put a passcode on your wireless network? I mean, if a neighbor came up to you and said, Hey, neighbor, um, the UPS doesn't work over at my house. I was wondering if I could have some packages delivered here. Same thing, letting them use your wireless network. When setting up a new router in your home, the installation software will prompt you to put a passcode on your network. Go ahead and do that. If you've got an older router that doesn't have a passcode, you can set one by using the software that came with your router. You can also use the Network and Sharing Center on your Windows-based PC or the Airport Utility on a Mac. Once you've set the passcode, don't tell the kids. If they already know it, change it. The adults own the network and access to the web is a privilege, not a right. Establish this by having the kids come to you to ask for the passcode. Now if I could just figure out how to do that with a fridge. Has this ever happened to you? A kid with his brand new white iPhone 4S rolls up on you and asks, Yo, Mr. N, what's your wireless passcode? Well, if it hasn't yet, it will. My stock answer is no, and while you're at it, stay out of my liquor cabinet. Bear in mind that most devices capture and store passcodes, so if you give one to a kid, he's gonna have that until you change it. Now, of course, there are times when you're gonna want to give an adult or even a kid access to the web through your router. The problem is that when you give them your passcode, you're also giving them access to your private network, maybe even some shared files or access to your music library, for example. For that reason, you may want to shop for a router that offers dual zone, guest zone, or SSID features. This allows you to create one network for your family and a guest network that can only access the internet, not your personal files. One of the nice things about some routers, like the Linksys E4200, you can plug them in, set them up, and forget about it. But sometimes we forget that we can turn the network off. Sometimes off is a good thing. You might even consider a timer like this one. Shut the router down at night or during certain hours of the day, like dinner or study hours. Even grown-ups can use the reminder that there are times to put the screens away. It's green, too. So remember, the wireless router is the central pinch point, the digital straits of Hormuz in your family, as it were, and parents should control it by making sure that there's a secret password that only they know. You may also want to consider a blackout at night or certain hours of the day. Well, that's all for us here today. Enjoy dinner with your family, and we'll see you next time here in the lab. Embrace your inner geek. Enter the Geek Dad Cool Contest for a chance to win $10,000 in home theater products and powerful networking tools for the ultimate high-tech home. Visit the link below for official rules and entries. Contest ends February 17, 2012.